tell me about your journey coming up. Like, how long did it take for you to get to where you're at? Shit, like, 10 years plus, bro. Be frightened? Nah, you safe, nigga. You in big battle, man. I'm from a. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, body stay hooded down. Fit it down here and duck with the tray pound. Only Why in? Sound, click, clack, gun round. Why in? You in Delhi Station, my nigga. People that died here got stabbed. Just know we smoke this. All them dead niggas from up the street, you know? We're three minutes from one of the smartest places on the planet. Even more Why? Are Harvard students easy money? Back then, yeah. Now we let them live. Harvard, you can Why definitely get some licks. Nah, them, them, look, 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 look. Chat, I'm going to tell you one thing. You got your YNs and you got your ONs. Your YNs is the young niggas. Owens is the old niggas. Them the old niggas. Them the unks. Now them the UNs. Unk niggas. Today we For visit sure. one of the most overlooked hoods in America. You may Hawaii have heard a lot about the trenches of New York. Philly, or even Baltimore, but I'm guessing you've heard little to nothing about the trenches of Boston. A quick Google search tells me that Boston is riddled with gangs, but there's little out there that actually captures what Boston is like boots on the ground. As I try and picture what Boston might look like, I think of the movie The Town and picture some tough white dudes robbing banks. However, it appears that era of Irish gangsters is largely in the past. Today, a new it. side of Boston streets is emerging, and there's no better guide to show me this than the Massachusetts legend and rapper Millie's. Millie's is a man who who gets an unimaginable amount of punani thanks to songs like this. And in the rap game, he's extremely well respected and has gotten co signed by the likes of Davies, Jadakiss, and Fabulous. Together, we visit a collection of crews. We tap in with Jamaicans, a twerk game pulls up on us, and we even meet a crew from a country you've probably never heard of. Folks, it's time to go on a Boston adventure. Describe the area where that we're at right now, Cs. We're in the port right now, so you know Cambridge, Broken you know Matter section. Got the coast, port, north, east, west. We're three minutes from one of the smartest places on the planet. Having that in your backyard, did ever inspire you? Like this. me personally, I was too caught up with what I got going on. 14, caught my, my first bid, went to DYS. And what's Juvie like in this area? Juvie was cool. I was in um, a spot called Hillside. So they had like a blue line around the whole unit. If you stepped on that line, you get choked up, hemmed up. Like it was one of those situations. So what's yeah. happening, brother? What's up, Tommy? Good to meet you, man. Uh, yeah. How are you? Cool, Good to man. see you. Appreciate you for coming out to the 617. I appreciate Let's you having me. Light on the air. What is this? Oh, CMB. Oh, GMB. CMB. CMB. Yeah, it's Cambridge, man. What they call this spot besides the port? Bus area down four. Rolly. Area four. Jeez. It's divided by Central Square, so there's the coast, the port. I grew up between here and the um, coast. It's all split up by Central Square. We'll take you there in a second. I just started rapping. This is a start, but now I'm going to do this shit often. And the hoes, they just started flocking. Pull up beside me, just finished talking. I got grip the power at him and grip the power at whoever's watching. My bitch over here slaps on the ass. Now she gets stuffed like a stalker. Ooh. Did you say stuff a bitch ass like a stalking? Yeah, we stuff a That's like gangsters. Like a stalking, dude. We stuff a bitch like stalkers, bro. We're going to fill them up. <laughs> What's the word, baby boy? I'm trying to figure out, are you Irish? Excuse me, bro. Yeah. You're Irish? Oh, Irish. So, it's St. Patrick's Day, a big holiday for you. Not really, because, like, my father's side is, like, got the Irish in it, and, you know, I didn't really see my pops too much like that. But I get f***ed up, you know? Every day, St. You like drinking? Yeah, I'm drinking right now. What's your drink of choice? Reposado. Oh, Don Julio. Don Julio. What's going on? How when'd you get out? I got on June. What's something that you really appreciate about being out? Like like something you do, like a regular thing? Just being able to do like everything on your own time. You know, like when you're in there, you gotta move accordingly. Like you know, what I'm saying it should be locked down. I was in the penitentiary, so you know, she was always locked down. But just being out, be able to have your freedom, move around. You got you gotta you gotta take advantage of that shit, bro. Oh, you got three kids. I take it. I got it. Tell me about them. They, they growing up 13, 12, until I'm um, three years old. 
Damn. They growing up. Yeah, 13 like years. Your kids? Everything. Whatever they want to do, we're going to do it. What, what's on your neck? Love, loyalty, out, values, everything. Is there a lot of loyalty in the streets right now? It's dangerous. RP hands, RP punch, RP biz, RP Dre, RP nerve. That's a lot to walk around with. I just put some liquor out here for my cousin. He's a legendary rapper, legendary person. We all look up to him. He's a hood legend. I pull more for my baby. I'm gonna take a shot for my baby. Damn, man. Bro, he spoke nothing but the truth and looked out for his family. Tell me about your journey coming up. Like, how long did it take for you to get to where you're at? Shit, like 10 years plus, bro. Just rapping every day, trying to make this shit happen every day. Were there moments you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work out or not? Yeah, hell yeah. A lot of, there's a lot of highs and lows. But that's why I'm glad you in the 617 now. We shining light on artists and shit like that. Like, I was watching your channel. I'm like, oh no, this is perfect for us because we got a lot of talent, bro. Yeah, some school right here. Flesh of Maine. Bless it. Did you ever have a birthday party here? Nah, I would do down the center. What was your favorite ever birthday you had? Probably like this year, for real. And what'd you do for it? I, I just had fun, you know what I mean? I, I went out to the club, a couple clubs, and had a good time. I have night. to ask you about that. I've yeah. seen I've seen you throw money at the club. Do you ever worry that one day you're gonna be like, man, I wish I took those thousands of dollars and put them somewhere else? No, hell no, bro. I, I invest in my career. Even when I'm throwing money in the club, I'm really investing in my career. Wanna say hi to the kids, Millie's? How you doing? Thank you. Uh-huh. Giving all the kids hundreds. Okay. Now this What are you guys gonna spend? Twenties. Candy? Yes. She said, we used to come here to the icy lady. She passed away like a year or two ago. We used to come here, ring her doorbell. Slide the come window to this up. window, she'll slide the window up. What you oh, want? Man. Up the freezer. I miss Isis. What you know about a good icy bro? on my good hot day? You can eat icy anytime. It's a difference between an icy and a slurpee. You don't, you don't know the difference. You gotta look it up, Google it, YouTube it, something. But get you a icy. Get you a good icy. With some Kool Aid, though. Not three nice. coolers full of icies. We used to all come here. 75 cents. Yeah, she cents. easily made like five M's. Five M's. Easily. 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 And I might be low balling. I say seven. five M's. What's your of icy? How'd you become this guy? Just being in Cambridge, really being like the only. White kid in my neighborhood. There was white kids, but they were in a neighborhood called East Cambridge. Cause all the white people you see and shit, they like around the colleges and shit. So it's not kids. See what I'm saying? So like at a youth center, it's gonna be one white kid for every hundred black kids. It was kind of surreal to be around Millie's. I mean, the guy rolled around in two black suburbans like a mafioso. His crew was deep as hell, and he undeniably had a lot of street credit. Why he went. I wonder what it took for him to earn that reputation. <laughs> nah, it almost felt like we were in, the right. in the so car together, niggas. I noticed a neck tattoo that said Katrina. So I asked him who that was. Katrina. Who's Katrina? That's my mom. Yeah. He got a lot oh, of. Wow. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. I might gotta check his music out because he got a lot of people who he done been around. We seen Nipsey. We seen Mozzie. It's a couple other niggas too. I can't. It was too many, but look. I'm gonna check his music out. I might be sleeping on him. He might got some good music. Strong, bro. Put She's me on. Like, a, like a strong Somebody. lady. She, she had to deal with a lot. Chat. She seen some of my friends, you know, get a life sentence in prison. Like, she seen me get shot at in front of her house. She seen a lot. Damn. She she seen me get kicked out of high school the first day. You know, I went to school in Charlestown, for real. We done had homicide detectives at her door, bro. For real. Like, I put her through traumatic shit, and she was just so strong through all of it. Like, and always was my, like, my mother is my whole reason for rapping. And I hadn't talked to my mom and, and, and got that, like, um, validation from her, like, saying I'm proud of you. Because she still be worried about so much other stuff with me. But that's Meat all Mill. I wanted. I, I didn't care about the money, the bitches. Can I, I say, my mom. hello, wait, can I say Meat Mill? Because I know y'all niggas ain't really messing with me right now. Look. Chat, don't be trying to flame me, but look, when I'm listening to music and Meat Mill come on my Apple playlist, nah, not my playlist, but it come on my Apple radio, I'm on turn it, because Meat Mill some good music, right?
We can't we can't doubt that he made some good music. But y'all be like it the Diddy thing. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't even know why I can continue listening to me, man. Can I save me for him though? Y'all niggas be tweaking, man. I was saying proud type shit. So. Did you did you get that moment with her? Yeah, no, nah, I had that moment with her a lot, bro. I brought my mother courtside um to, to uh -huh. Celtics games. You know, with, with tickets that's given to me from the organization. Like, I've definitely had that mother, uh, that moment with my mother a lot. I saw a lot of shit, though, in that, in that neighborhood that, that you were in, you know what I mean? Like, early 2000s in Cambridge, right where we were standing. Like, I seen somebody get murdered when I was young, oh, you feel nah, me? Nah. What's some information you want to tell uh, the youth? Um, to never never let somebody crash you out, man. People are trying to crash out the youth, you know what I mean? People are use these kids to, to go on drills and don't be a crash out for anybody. You gonna crash out? Crash out for yourself. Crash Don't out for your dreams. Hello, your hat. Show the camera to your hat. Show the. Nah. 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 And bringing superstars out. Uh -huh. The baddest bitches in the world. Yep. I feel like if I die, come to my funeral, tell some good stories. That's that's right. Well, I don't want a lot of people crying. Be too bro, that's how I was like when I was young. I saw my friend die like real early. And don't like that thugs, shit crushed me. And then I realized he was the type of person he would have rather me um celebrate his life. You know what I mean? That's why that's that's where my courage come from. That's where my drive come from. It's just like you get an expiration date on this shit. You gotta live the way you wanna live, you know what I mean? That's facts. His dumb is dancing, man. It's nighttime. Do you yeah, think Mickey the people here are frightened when they see this many people coming? I'm hungry. Nah, they used to this shit. There's a lot of homeless and crackheads and shit like that. I see families putting their food away and getting out of here quickly once they saw the big crew coming. Especially when they see the motherfuckers. All the time. You see my brother right here? Show light to my brother right here. He's he standing all the time. Wow. What's up, brother? How you doing? What are you up to today? Just chilling in my house. It's a Friday, right? What was the highlight of the week so far? Oh, respect to Tell me, G, your fan love it. Mickey respect D's? to the kids' school? Yeah. That's good. That was a good moment for sure. What's your favorite subject? P.E. P.E.? Good meeting you, man. Yo! P.E.? Central Squawk! I'll buy you a net. That's her car. Favorite subject, too. At the liquor store, you come on. Let's go. I gotta take my pet dog with me. Come on, come on. What about that nigga? Nigga? If she got a dog out, for real. YouTube right now. Say what up to YouTube. Hey. You know what I mean? We outside. We streaming. Millie's outside. I'm in here. Let me get um, Espalon, please. And I need a couple of nips. I got you. He's so polite with it. What you want? I want two nips of Parmesan. Two nips of Parmesan, please. Stop. 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 That's a new joint. Uh, that's how they do, man, because they know. All right, let's go. Come on. We're losing the crowd. We out. Good looking, man. We out. You know that, auntie. I got you. Hey, yo, what am I looking for? Go subscribe to Tommy G. Tommy G. Tommy G. Go subscribe. Big dogs got to eat. Big dogs Tommy do got to eat. Big dogs got to eat. Shouts out to Tommy G. Bam. Fellas, fellas, fellas. fellas. Sunglasses at night? Tell me about this fashion choice. Trenches, you heard? Guess real trenches. Nah, that's a wild man, for real. What are the keys to building wealth? Staying down, discipline. Well, stay away from the uh, bad bitches, you feel me? What's the dumbest w money advice? move you ever made? Oh, cashed out like two bands on some, on, on some sneakers for, for a bad bitch, bro. Gangster. See, I thought he was going to say he spent two bands on himself. He spent two bands on... A chick with some sneakers. What type of sneakers did he buy her? The Yeezy? The 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 the, the, the not. The, the, oh, I'm talking about yeah, Red October's. Now, I don't even think them two bands. What did he buy her? I would have bought myself some sneakers for two bands. <laughs> Oh, they getting litty. See, everybody out here just know we smoking sk on all them dumb niggas from up the street, you know? Nah. Whoa, why you smoking? Oh, you you white? 
All of them are so. Yo, yo, see, yo, why? I, I tried to get get them niggas some justice. I tried to say there wasn't no YNs. Them, now the first group of people they was chilling. That was them UNs, them unks. I told you about them UNs. Now these niggas right here, that's some YNs. Why they ain't in school? I know the street light on, but nigga. Why in thugs? So obsessed with this talking about dead ops. I don't get it. Nah, <laughs> bro, I ain't even. When you get that. a little older, you realize this, right? that's All not the way to go. This. Free the gods, man. Free the real. We be home real soon. Free Shizzy. Free Riley and Chesel, man. Niggas already know what it is. <laughs> I can promise you there's more than those guys across town to life. There's stuff you can build for your future. And the more you think about folks on smoking Tell that option, all that shit, he's not going to add well. But if you build a business right now, acquire w real estate right now, read books right now, you guys are going to be so much farther ahead than everyone else you know. Stay safe, not fellas. No Stay book. safe. <laughs> what is that? Rum and boom, we call it special. When you go to Jamaica, make them know someone who the special. Yeah? And tell them who to learn that from. You heard me? From you? Yeah, right. That's all. What do they call you? Baba, my name is one and only Baba in Boston. Say that one more time, please. Baba. Barbara. 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 You wanna try this? Okay, so how do you make this thing? All right, we made a special. It's Jamaican rum. Fresh out of the trunk. thing called Boom. How are we doing? Yeah. It? We yeah. Knock it <laughs> right it's here. It's just a shot. Right, right here. here. Now right I'm going to take a sip. Right right take a sip. Tell me how it is. Oh, that's a boom, drink. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. How it is? Boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> right, how you mean? Mr. Yeah, 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 do everything. Big up yourself, you know. Big up yourself, you know. Art of love. You hear that? Art love. Going hard, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need you on my album. Greatly, greatly. Just stop me now, greatly. Yeah. Greatly. This ain't my last time popping out here. What do you mean if you are the other thing? This is your total and subject and the crew. Love that. One love. Total and subject. One love. Two right. Two For context of where our Airbnb is, guys, I'm not kidding you. Three minutes away, 0.6 miles. We've had a couple people that we were interviewing at the Airbnb that were scared to pull up and let us know that we were in a bad area. How you doing? Tommy G, man. Nice to meet you. They got city. Tommy G in the trenches late at night. Like that. Like he's smoking the black and mouth. Like from as far like the, the neighborhoods of the streets and also their culture. So like you got a lot of Haitians, you got a lot of Cape Verdeans, you got a lot of... What is K Verdean? I don't think I've ever met a West K Verdean. Nah, he in the trenches like, uh, for real. The West Coast, uh, nah, West Coast I, of Africa. I was Tell me you get up West out Africa. of there, bro. Are you K Verdean? Uh, yeah. We got good women, good food, good music, good yeah, dancing, good, good culture. I might gotta go there. Uh, oh, look at that water. Yeah, so it's a mixture of different things. We got light so, skinned people, dark skinned people. I heard the women here are light skinned with blue eyes. Oh my gosh. We got a couple of those too, and we got dark skin. I told you, with the nappy hair, we love mm. them all, you know. That's what I'm talking about. You mix them up. Tell me, you know? So has this area been gentrified? Uh, yeah. You look, can tell when that flag is up, yeah, the area's been gentrified. You can tell Tommy G is drunk. He's in the trenches late at night. It's probably like four o'clock in the morning right now. All them niggas outside. Ski masked up. Big shysties. <laughs> I don't even know why this is right here, but look, Tommy G feels safe right now. So when you get Tommy G drunk, he's safe. When he's sober, he would he would not be there right now at no four in the morning. He would have been got up out of there a long time ago. That bum bum juice got him. It's making everything die. Early. All cultures die out. You feel me? And it's fucked up. This nigga rolling weed on camera too. A lot of people's families yeah, from see, different places. Like, like I said, Haiti, Jamaica, too Cape Verde. You know what I mean? So when they come here, they don't really got a lot. You know what I mean? A lot of people from this block can speak on that. There's people out here that's from Cape Verde. They straight from Cape Verde. What can you tell me about Cape Verde? Yeah, we came from the uh, straight from the slaves and we mixed with the son of Colon, Portuguese. Basically, like our official language is Portuguese, but we speak Cape Verde language. Okay, okay. like What's some words you can teach the audience back home? Emoji, oh. Mokusta. It's been fun rocking with you, dude. You're a well respected man, and it's fun to see how you're operating. You do got a lot of respect. What's on your mind? Any final thoughts you'd like to share? Um, I just wanted the light to be on 617, you know what I mean? That's all. 
Like how you said I was successful well, earlier. Right you, buddy. Yo, diamonds dancing. Too. You know, it's 10 other artists <laughs> booming out this shit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lift people like BJ Ball up. We're going to lift people like G Nipsey up. We're going to lift all the artists up and, you know, put this shit on the map the right way. Sometimes the world can feel dark. And sometimes the path forward is not clear. Sometimes you feel like you're lost in the woods and you don't know how to get out. To me, I think talking about the issues that are going on inside of you is important. The sponsor of today's video is BetterHelp, and they can help with therapy. Now, I had a family member that worked for BetterHelp. She got her Absolute, master's degree, but and tell people me like you. her, the number one, I was a little. You want to try this out? Go to pee. So video, we meet up with local comedian Harvard Eye, who's famous for reviewing Boston's most dangerous gas stations and fast food restaurants. And over the course of the night, we travel to a few different locations, each getting progressively more dangerous. Now, that's a WrestleMania. What's up, big dog? You see what we got? We down Dudley. It's the crunchiest of the crunchiest. You see what sure. the f going on? Yeah, a lot of people think that Boston is all colleges, but we got the same shit going on. It's drug infest. What happens in Boston stays in Boston. It. We got all type of craziness going on out here, man. You gotta keep your head on the fucking swivel. You in Dudley Station? It's lighter than Boston. Boston. Here, not going to Boston. Stabbed. The jail smoke crack right there. Mama smoke crack right there. Smoke crack. This mama smoke crack right there right now. WCW. Hold on. WCW. United States champion. Women's Crush Wednesday. You know what I mean? That's me. You know why y'all gonna be the champ? Why? Mr. Ariel Cole for Boston. Yeah. Six point seven, baby. That's my birthday. Hey. Without Boston, uh, there's no United uh, States. Uh, That's why. That's what he I'm took the United States champion. Bill. June seventeenth, seventeen seventy-five. What happened that day? Was that the day Paul Revere rode around on his horse? Mm -hmm. Battle of Bunker Hill. You know the Battle of Bunker Hill. We lost the battle, but we definitely won the war. That was during the Revolutionary War. Even if you lose a battle, you can still win the war. So that's how we take it in stride. This is a real small, tight city. Everybody knows everybody. You can't get f***ed up. Yeah, like, you Everybody know. knows everybody. It's weird to say this out loud, I'm but I'm afraid I'm right, of 15-year-olds right now. I'm so right, I'm it's not the grown men that's out here <laughs> doing the things to the people. It's, it's, it's the new generation. This is one of the most dangerous food spots right here. The best Chinese food in Boston. <laughs> Yo, wait, why is he, why is he fucking the floor, bro? Wait, why? We need some context clues. Yeah, he ain't got a wrestling belt on, nigga. His friend in the back, go, go, do it. Do your little dance. Freaky ass niggas. That was good. What's something you've been struggling with recently? Mm. Finances. The rent. This, this money on That rent. Yeah, is crazy. in the middle. For a one bedroom, it's like 2100 out here in Boston. Especially in the city, Boston are playing catch up constantly. That's a closet, nigga. You need to move to the country or something, my boy. People live check to check they in, don't. man. I would say to be comfortable in Boston right now, you gotta at least make. 80k. This is an iconic piece right here. This is uh, uh, a Malcolm X mural right here. This is where Malcolm X used to be at, right, right here. Right in Dudley. Malcolm X, see? You see his face right here? Young Malcolm, you see Shorty. What is Malcolm X? That's uh, uh, He is a lot, man. He lived right there on Dale That's Street. Red. He's like one of the people that give us a voice to let us know that you could be anything, whether you're incarcerated, whatever you're going through, just stay positive, stay strong, and uh, you can get through it. If I do recommend three biographies to people out there, it's Malcolm X, Teddy Roosevelt and Benjamin Franklin. Three American heroes, icons that like, were larger than life. Hey, is, uh, is Malcolm X a book different from the movie? I, I might gotta read the book because I've seen the movie several times and everybody always be like, read the book. I see what that book talking about. You gotta throw Harriet Tubman in there and you gotta throw uh, Sojourn the Truth too. Those are some real okay. good books you gotta tap into, man. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass. His story okay. was his story was W. E. B. Du Bois, Boys. Maybe. So. Well reading is I power. Read and I wish I wish school, everyone I back home would pick up a book. Because I don't get how like there's all this knowledge in the world you don't wanna know about it. Once you get that knowledge, nobody can take that away from you. You have to do say the duality. So you got all different type of niggas. He, he, he yeah, they, they really wrestling characters at this point. His character, that nigga just he be turning up. 
He be telling the other nigga he got some knowledge in his pocket. I don't know what his belt stand for. We know the other nigga. His belt stand for WCW. See, but it 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 go around because he got a belt that stand for WCW. It's for the women. And then he gonna tell you to go read the Harry and Tubman biography. Gets deep. It gets deep in Boston. Be a man right there. Yeah. What I really liked about these guys is that they weren't afraid to mention that they like reading. Uh, a lot of these guys were pumped about books and. If you can make that a practice in your life, I don't care who you are. It is, is going to make it hey, better. Hey, chat. Anybody that's watching, y'all got some good books for me to uh, read? Me, personally, I'm an audio booker. My, my attention span is going to go away trying to read a book. I got to, like, audio book it, though. Give me some good books to, to listen to in the, in the comments. Somebody. Six Tommy G. That was cool to hear. Read some books. Kids, read books. Yeah, why you ends read some books. You guys brought us to a Burger King? Hey, don't think that's uh, yo, listen, yo, listen. So tell me, why did you bring us to the Burger King? We're right, telling you why we just brought you to a Burger King. from Mickey D's to Burger, Burger King. King. My nigga, you can get smacked right here, bro. Oh, Someone bro. got shot dead this ass This building head, right, here? right here, up the street at the barbershop. Okay. Literally right, smacked in his head. Literally a week, literally ago, a week ago. ago. If you know this is a spot that is treacherous, why go? This is where I grew up at. It can't be Boston if it ain't raw, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is Grove Hall. This is Grove Hall. We grew up right here playing football. We play football in this. I might have been wrong on that first comment when I said Tommy G was too comfortable at first. Nah, he in the, he sober today. He sober with them. They the ones that's, that's, that's drunk. He was drunk yesterday. Today he sober. And they still in the trenches at 4 a.m. Go home, Tommy G. <laughs> he wild of the day. He said, bro, it's about to be a new year. We going crazy. It's fourth quarter. It's okay. I'm a real G. Girl, I went to, went to school I... right there, went to the Burke. We was just in Roxbury, and now we in Dorchester. So that just go to show you how close niggas are. That's that Washington two minute, Street. That two ride, two and this right here is like a main street, Columbia Road. And I mean, it's connected to Blue Hill. We just came off of Blue Hill. So it's going to show you how close different hood, different section of the city come together. And I mean, and these walls right here and got tagged up so many times with RIP to niggas that got passed away. The city come back and cover it. They don't even allow niggas to paint on shit here. They'll be getting candles and all that, be there for a couple weeks. I'm saying, but you know. They don't let the dead live in peace, man. Now when they, they just jumping off the porch, they, they died off that shit, so you gotta be safe for real. Hey, pop it, go, 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 go. Pop it. Say what up to Tommy right quick, bro. Hey, yo, let him know where we at, bro. Right at. in the hood. Side exactly. Street. For me. Mm -hmm. Side yeah, that's Side uh, Street. Hey, yo, hey, yo. He, he said, why you bring us to a Burger King? Hey, yo, you think he was kind of crazy when he said that? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey yo. Hey, yo, let him know exactly what the fuck be going down over here. Let him know. Like, tell him what it is, bro. Bro, that's not just a Burger King, bro. Let the niggas know, bro. It get crunchy over here. It definitely get crunchy over here. Yeah, that's always crunch time. Oh, dogs. We're in a, a, a Boston trench right now. There's energy in the air. There's kids on mopeds driving around, and it's got that East Coast boisterousness. It feels like it's one of those areas that anything could go down, and I'm sure a lot has gone down here. But what's crazy is at the same time with all this, there's RIP on the wall and there's stuff happening. By day, kids are playing kickball and football and playing in this area, and by night, the teenagers and adults are living a whole other type of lifestyle. Do you have any final thoughts you guys want to say to the camera? Stay blessed, stay humble, never give up. Everybody go through shit. Don't matter what city you from, don't matter if you from Boston to Idaho to fucking New yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Everybody got a ghetto, everybody got a struggle. You know what I mean? Just keep fighting. Don't yeah. give up on yourself. Hey, stay man. stay solid, 10 toes yeah. down. I've been a king since w birth. Vice. Always been told if I ever had beef, stop eating first. If you speak the first, then you gonna leave the random earth. But the church, I move like a reaper's curse. Mm. See the heat at first, you gonna need a priest to nurse. It gets Ooh. even worse when you're sleeping with a demon's lurk. Okay. I'm a leader first. Everything is easy work. Nah, Shit don't 
and I got a flow. You gotta make your way. speakers burst. Ooh. On the block, straight cock in the heat, popping the beef, cause niggas stay plotting the creep. Tell but I don't gotta say word, the revolver will speak. Fully loaded clip, niggas know I'm marching to eat. See, I sleep with the dead in the streets, the streets where the mark of the beast, the real niggas marching to eat. So I'm forced to get mine, cause all marks the creep, the time Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. And they gotta watch another. Here. You wanna subscribe? Over here. Yeah. See you next week. Bye, nigga.